Hello Snapchat, so today's topic is going to start off a little bit morose, but I swear I'll turn it around in the end. Let's discuss legacy. How do we get beyond, how do we transcend this shitty 80 year lifespan we all have? I'm consciously aware of our immortality, the fact that we are kind of a primitive biological life form. We're, we're, we're primates, we're essentially descended from monkeys with an 80 year lifespan, which is tiny. And when you add to that the realization that it could all be over in an instant, like, you know, it could, you could be hit by a bus, you could be shot, you could get cancer, you could just, like, all sorts of complications could happen to reduce that lifespan. We're literally the only species on this planet that's aware of its own mortality and yet it's kind of like a taboo topic because no one really wants to talk about it because it's depressing but it's constantly lingering in our subconscious. That awareness of mortality is kind of one of the core drivers for uh, religion. I mean this whole like you know imaginary sky daddy life after death thing people dream and hope that's real. Having children and passing in your genes is also it's while it's an evolutionary driver it's also that kind of mortality driver it's, it's a way of leaving a legacy that works that you know lives beyond yourself. I kind of say religion and that kind of hoping for an afterlife as this kind of uh, anti-intellectualism just kind of sitting there twiddling your thumbs hoping for the best possible outcome, immortality. With the pace of science and technology there is actually a practical, almost very real likelihood that within our lifetimes we'll, we will achieve immortality or at least reach that longevity escape velocity. Longevity escape velocity, also called the Methuselahity, is this idea in about 20-30 years we'll probably have the technology where every year you age we can actually extend your life by another year so you become practically immortal. And then obviously like the final resort is cryonics, like freezing yourself and being reanimated later in life. Um, but obviously both of these are hopes, you know, I'm not praying to the science gods for this to happen. So short of immortality, what's the next best thing you can do? Well, leave a legacy. So, you know, some people will have children and you're kind of like passing your genes, that's leaving a legacy. I'd rather pass on my memes. And I don't know why I want to leave a legacy, but I really want to. It's some like inner urge. Um, but I think it's a common human trait. I think it's just the idea of like understanding your place in the universe and not wanting to be forgotten. So anyway, let's quickly list through a bunch of like legacy options you can do now and probably like you know, what are the longest lasting. So obviously in the past people built like big stone statues like pyramids and stuff like that. I guess the pyramids and like the Greek ruins are cool, um, but they're still susceptible to decay. Like, you know, in 10,000 years they may not exist at all because they're kind of, you know, gradually eroding away. But also they're not very information dense. I mean, some of them have, you know, scriptures and stuff uh, carved into the, into the stone, but also those decay and also the meaning gets lost and they're hard to transcribe. If you really want to, you can write a gene drive and actually create um, a marker or information and directly inject it into DNA of some species, human or otherwise, and have that spread by natural evolution. Another option is that scientists recently created uh, a thing they're calling 5D disks, which is basically like quartz glass disk that can hold 360 terabytes within nanostructures and it lasts for 13 billion years. Another one you can do is actually just launch information on satellites. So Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, we have those like golden disks and information on there. Um, they will keep going forever until the heat death of the universe or until they hit something, which is very unlikely. And those Voyager missions are cool and all, but the problem is if they're never ever found, then what's the point? Like, if they're not found by some other intelligent civilization, then is it really a legacy? I don't know. You could also do the same thing with satellites more closer to home. So you could actually set up a, almost like a, um, what are those things called? Time capsules. <laughs> um, but in, in a satellite and have it orbit Earth. If you set that satellite to orbit far enough away from Earth so it's unlikely to hit anything, it'll continue orbiting for 5 billion years, roughly in, until, like, the sun expands and engulfs it. I think that orbiting satellite idea is one thing I definitely will want to do at some point in my life because it's, it's the one form of legacy that's close to Earth but will never ever be affected by anything that happens on Earth. Okay, but the more practical stuff you can do right now is essentially what I'm doing right now. This is digital immortality. This is part of the reason why I do Futural because this is likely to exist for at least another hundred or a thousand years. The internet is the longest running and largest machine that humans have ever built. It hasn't gone down in a single day because it's a network. You know, if one node goes down, the whole thing keeps running still. You don't realize it in the moment, but like most things that you upload to the internet, particularly if they're on like, uh, particularly when we move to a decentralized internet, those things are likely to exist forever. Like I fully expect my great 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 grandchildren, like many many descendants down a thousand years in the future, I fully expect them to come back and watch these videos. Like that, this data, this digital immortality will be fascinating even just like one, two, three generations from now. I would have loved to see what my parents, grandparents, great grandparents were thinking when they were young. So then you've got the issue that on a long enough time scale, like a thousand years, ten thousand years, hundred thousand years, digital immortality is just not enough. Uh, think of how many songs have been created in history. Just like the songs at the beginning of this uh, story, um, if you look at the millions and millions of songs that have ever been created in history, and just look at the last hundred years, the most popular songs from that time, they will inevitably be forgotten. 
So I guess the next big legacy thing you can do is either be uh, fundamentally involved in some huge leap that propels humanity forward or some huge historical event. Like 10,000 years from now, no one will give a shit about who was the president of what country, even what countries really existed. It'll be things like, you know, who was the first person on the moon? Who was the first person on Mars? Who established the Mars colony? Who's, who created the first space elevator? Huge, big, momentous occasions um, that kind of propelled humanity forward to the next era. And finally, in this rambling thought, <laughs> sorry, um, and the reason why I've been thinking about this a lot, about legacy, is that of all the startups and projects you could be working on, you must be working on blockchain. Because any app you build, any website, any tool, any product, any startup, any company, it's all going to be reliant on you paying server costs, on you keeping it running, keeping it going. Like for example, the moment you, you stop paying your hosting bill, your server costs, your server bill, then all that data is lost, it gets deleted. Um, and the moment your company stops making money, you go bankrupt, there, there goes your whole company. So I've been recently aware that every hour I spend on a project or a startup that isn't being built on the blockchain um, is an hour wasted because it's, it could be lost in a thousand years. Whereas if I, build, if I work on a project or a startup that is entirely built on something like Ethereum or the blockchain, uh, because it's decentralized and distributed, it'll always exist. Just like the internet can never be shut down unless you basically turn off all, <laughs> all the nodes, all computers, the blockchain is the same. The only way you can ever shut down a blockchain is by shutting down all the miners. So if you can build a DAO on like Ethereum or the blockchain, every hour you put into that, it's creating a legacy, um, particularly if you're creating a DAO that adds true value to humanity. So some of your thoughts and comments, what's the best way to achieve long-lasting, true legacy? You know, a thousand years from now, 10,000, 100,000, or 100 billion.